What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough, the 2023 edition, probably, I don't know, it is what it is guys. So, guess what guys, we're gonna try something new right here, um, uh, yeah, something very, very new that I kind of want to actually, you know, I've always had my eye on, wanted to try it out, and that is, we're gonna be going into the Battle Tent. Now, if you guys remember, we are in Slaveport City. And in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, the battle tent will actually be the contest halls. And uh, every time you visit with con contest halls, they will be increasing by, like, you know, class and all that stuff. I believe in Slateport, it is the normal class. Correct me if I'm wrong, but here we are in Emerald, and they've been replaced with a, a battle hall right here. And this actually tries you out as a trainer. And here we have Scott, and he's like, oh, hey, if it isn't Draven. Draven, let me guess, you're going to take the battle tent challenge. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a really, really good idea. After all, a tough trainer is a perfect fit for the battle tent. Give it your best effort. Coming from the guy that doesn't really like me at all. Okay, so let's go inside the battle tent and see what's going on right here. All right, so let's see. Battle tent, here's the information. So battle swamp rules are listed. Which are you heading in, or which heading do you want to read into? Hmm. You know what, let's go straight into the basic rules. In a Battle Swamp event, you may use only three Pokemon. Whether you are renting or swapping, your team may not have two or more of these same Pokemon. And, uh, okay, so how about a Battle Pokemon? The Battle Pokemon, or the Pokemon of the Slateport Battle Tent, are all rentals. All rental Pokemon are kept at level 30. Which heading, oh wow, okay. So, yeah, we're gonna try it out, guys. As you probably already noticed, yes, it's only rental Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and take that challenge. Welcome to the Battle Tent Slateport site. I am your guide to the Battle Swamp Tournament. Would you like to take uh, the Battle Swamp Challenge? Sure, let's go right ahead. Before you begin your challenge, I need to save data. Yes, is that okay? And we're going to be saving some data right here. Okay, we're going to be saving a lot of data. And, well, please step this way. And, uh, wow, this is like a big, big thing for me right here. First, we will hold your Pokemon for safekeeping. You may then choose from our selection of Pokemon. Okay, so here we have a, ra a random selection of uh, Pokemon right here, guys. As you guys can see, we got Curlia, Linoon, Ninjask, Solrock, Sandshrew, and Zigzagoon. These are all very, very good selections, and uh, holy crud. Okay, so I kind of want to choose... Curlia. Let's see. Let's let's check the summary first. So as you guys can see, here's Curlia, level 30, synchronizes its ability, and it does have the Twisted Spoon as its item, which boosts up its a uh, its a uh, its attack right here, and it does have a good yeah good uh, uh, move set right here. Now here we have Linoon, and well let's see, it does have Rest, Mental Herb is its a thing, and let's see. Ninjask has a speed boost, which will actually speed it up a little. Has a silver powder, and uh, let's see, Fury Cutter. Okay, that sounds like pretty good. A uh, pretty good Pokemon. Now, here we have Soul Rock, a Rock and Psychic type Pokemon. It does have the Levitate ability, which will not be hit by any kind of Ground type Pokemon. And, huh, kind of want to use this Pokemon right here. And then we got Sand True, level 30. Sam Veal, it's its uh, ability, and I think it does have, yeah, it does, no, it doesn't have Sandstorm. Yeah, this is not the Pokemon I want to use, then. And here we have Zigzagoon, has the Choice Band, and, well, okay, so I think I know what I'm going to choose right here, guys. I'm going to go, let's see, let's go with Curlia, and let's see. Let's go with Ninjask, mainly because of its uh, speed up ability. That way, it actually, well, it doesn't have the best attacks, but that Fury Cutter can actually work for us. And let's go with Soul Rock right here, just for the situation, okay? All right, so we got three Pokemon, and away we go. We got to be very strategic in this one right here. Okay. That was new right there. So, here we go. We're going to be going up against Pokemon uh, Pokemaniac De Davian. And this guy is going to be coming out with a ball toy right here. Alright, so... 
Let's see, let's go with the double team, and he's going to be coming out with a reflect right here. So, we're going to try and increase our, our evasiveness right here, just, just so Balto won't mess with us. And call mine. And are you serious? That right there messes us up, so it takes out both Pokemon right here. Oh my god, okay. Alright, Ninjas, let's go. Come on. Okay, so it does have its ability to speed up its boot, or its, its you know, its ability and all that crud. And we are kind of in a disadvantage right here. Although, we can use Double Team right here. Alrighty. His Machoke will not try and hit us and all that crud. And here comes its Focus Energy. So, we're going to try and boost up our, our, our evasiveness as well as our speed right here. So, here we go. Here we go. So there we go, another evasiveness, and here comes a Karate Chop. That is not very effective. Okay, so while that is going on, let's go ahead and uh, blind this Pokemon. So that right there is triple. Won't be able to hit us or anything like that. And its Reflect has worn off, so that means that we can actually physically hit it. So here we go again, Sand Attack. And, uh, well, Focus Energy is not going to work. Okay, so we are super speedy Pokemon right here. Let's go for a Fury Cutter and try and hit it five times in a row. So that one was a critical hit. And, oh, crap baskets. So that right there will enable Machuk to hit us without missing. So we're going to have to hit this guy again. And remember, guys, every single turn, it's going to increase its attack right here with the Fury uh, Cutter. So let's go right ahead and do it again. Fury Cutter for the win. And that is not very powerful, but that was Fury Cutter number three. And of course, that will not work. So here we go, Fury Cutter number four. That's going to be taking a little bit more. And yes, yes, a Leer attack right here. Okay, so here we go, Fury Cutter. That takes out Machoke. So that leaves out five. We do have high evasiveness right now. And here comes a Vigoroth, a very, very... <laughs> Scary Pokemon right here, so let's go straight for a double team. And let's see if Vigoroth can actually hit us. And oh, biscuits. There's two. Here's three. Crap baskets. Okay. Yeah, we lost. We lost this guy. Okay. So Vigoroth is a very strong Pokemon. So we got one more Pokemon, and that is a Soul Rock. And it is still a rock type Pokemon. Now, let's see. Go with a Psy Wave right here. Of course, Vigoroth has to be stronger than us, or has to be faster than us. But our defense is mighty. Okay, so let's go with a Psy Wave. Hopefully we can fuse this guy right here. And that right there gives it a little bit more. And, well, here comes a Fury Attack again. Again, Vigoroth. I know many of you guys have been giving me crud about, uh, about you know, slacking and all that stuff and Vigoroth. And, oh my god. All right, let's harden. And yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna work right there. So here we go, harden attack. Just so we can uh, increase our defense just a tad bit more. Let's go with a side wave. And that yawn attack is going to mess with us. Holy crap baskets. Okay, so here we go, side wave. Please confuse this Pokemon. And oh, nearly defeats him. Good gravy, this, this Vigoroth right here is like, Okay, here we go. Yawn again. And here comes a Psy Wave. Come on, finish him! And there we go, throwing out the peace sign. Yes. Oh, wah! And there we go. Thank you for competing. Let us restore your Pokemon. Okay. Second match is ready, and, uh, well, <laughs> we're gonna end it right there, guys. We're gonna... We're gonna rest. Yes, we're going to save this game, but if you win, I think, five matches, you get a prize, and, well, we're going to be going back right here. Alrighty, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so here we are. We've been waiting for you. Before you resume your challenge, I must save a game. Oh, crap, baskets. Okay, so <laughs> we have to go for a few more matches. I'm going to go straight to the last match, or you know what? Let's retire. Yes. Oh, actually... Yeah, let's go ahead and retire. Holy crap, baskets. Yes, let's retire. Thank you for participating, and... Uh, 
Yes. Okay, so that has been... You know, that has been our little participation right here in the battle tent of what you can see. That was pretty fun. That was actually very, very fun. Hmm, it's kind of giving me ideas. I don't know. It might be. So, that right there has been our little episode right there of the battle tent, guys. I know, it's something new that you probably wanted to see for quite some time. And, uh, well, in the next episode, we're going to be going to... We're going to be going straight to Mauville City, so just be aware of all that stuff right there. And, uh, what else? What else? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we might be doing some more battle tents, because there's one ahead later on. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.